You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're fired. Don't do the. Why are you moving and doing? You doing the most. Hey, babe. What? Goody. It's your girl, Extra. Um, and I am coming to you with a. Uh, 10 things you need for breast reduction, breast lift surgery. Or really, a lot of things you need just if you were to get any type of plastic surgery done or whatever. And I wanted to show you guys some things that I got. Okay? So stay tuned. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Okay? Give it a big thumbs up. And um, drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys have any upcoming surgeries or what's going on with you. Uh, I love to talk and I love to connect with you guys. I want to talk to everybody. I always come in back. So um, please connect with me in the comment section below. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay. thing that I found that was really important for me to have is one of these everybody know these these are from the college days um we everybody had one of these in the dorm room so this is like a pillow that has armrest on it and I think this is really essential for you to have if you're getting a surgery done especially if it's in the upper region um, because you don't, you can't do too much. You don't, you can't move that much. So this is really essential for you to have. Um, I'll show you how it kind of works. Okay. <laughs> it's not really working. It ain't giving what it's supposed to give. You're supposed to have like a bed or something. <laughs> and you to sit up against it. Maggie like move. Um, but you know, your arms rest here and you're sitting and it's supposed to like allow you to sleep and like sit the proper way this was at target for about 18 bucks so you can get what they they do have them on amazon if you want something that's a little bit more sturdy or more bigger or whatever so that was extra essential i'll take two these we use at the airport everybody knows everybody has at least one of these in the house these are the neck pillows that you use to sit on spirit and be uncomfortable if with so um these are the neck pillows and i think this is really important if you're sleeping because when you have breast surgery you can't really like sleep on your you can't sleep on your tummy you can't sleep on your side you literally have to sleep on your back and you have to sleep sitting up so to sleep sitting up is very hard if you can't have some 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 neck support so This works. <laughs> ah, big metal fall asleep right here, okay? <laughs> so, you need a neck support so you can sleep comfortably. Um, this is one of my essential items, item number two. Okay, essential item number three. One, two, three, go! This is, what is this, a gown that has buttons. And it has buttons in the front. It looks kind of warm. But it has buttons in the front. <laughs> So like a gown has buttons in the front because when you have a breast reduction or a breast surgery, you need things because you can't really reach your arms over your head. So you need something that can button and unbutton in the front. And so I think it's very important to have like a gown or a shirt or something like that that buttons up in the front so that um, it's easy for you and whoever is your helper to be able to get in and out and change clothes and change your bandages and change your garments, okay? So, very essential item to have. Next on my essential item list, number four. Don't you have to be stupid somewhere else? Not until four. Is bras, okay? So when you have a breast reduction or breast lift, you um, have bandages that are on, on, that, on that region and you need a bra that buttons in the front and you cannot do like an underwire bra you have to have something soft like a sports bra or a surgery bra so i wanted to show you guys some things that i got off amazon 
this is a surgery bra. I really, this one wasn't my favorite, but um, this is a surgery bra and it unbuttons. It has the clasp in the front, the front hooks. It is very soft, but um, yeah, it just it wasn't the favorite for sure. But this one costs about $14.99 to like $19.99 on Amazon. Um, that was one. This one is actually also is really good. This one is a surgery bra. Sorry. This one is a surgery bra. It has a... Okay, let me get it together. So this one I also got off Amazon. This is a surgery bra. It has a thicker material that... Um, I don't know what, what the fabric is, but it's a stretchy tight fabric um it's a surgery bra and it kind of looks like a sports bra it has clasps at the top so that you can adjust the top for your shoulder length and your height and things like that and then it has the clasp down the front um and it's expandable so it has one two three different expanders um depending on the size of your breast um so i think that's super cool and it has a strap that I think is kind of stupid, but it's a strap over the front that I guess is to compress the top part of your chest. Um, and yeah, it was cool. It's a cool bra. This one uh, feels the best. Okay, this one feels the best. So that is my number four. Very important to have surgery bras or bras that hook in the front that are soft and comfortable for you. Number five. Five stars. We're getting into the cleaners, okay? The things to clean the skin, clean the wounds. Um, this is hydrogen peroxide. Everybody got this in their house, okay? 99 cent at 99 cent stuff, okay? Um, hydrogen peroxide, it is a really great antiseptic and a cleaning agent, and it doesn't burn. It doesn't burn as bad as alcohol would. It, it tingles a little bit. But this is really good for cleaning wounds, cleaning off uh, any type of wounds or uh, incisions or, you know, anything like that to make sure it stays clean and you don't get an infection because don't nobody want to know the infection. So this is very important, hydrogen peroxide. You can get it at any store, any um, pharmacy store or any um, drug store or grocery store anywhere you can get anywhere <laughs> so make sure you have some hydrogen peroxide okay number six not two not three not four not five number six hyvaclin okay i don't know if you've heard of this um only people who have had like a surgery would know about this or if you're researching for surgery this is very important your doctor will tell you to get this you need to shower with this the, um, the night before your surgery. And this is really great because it is what they use in the surgery room. So your surgeon actually uses this to clean their hands and clean um, up to their arms to make sure that they ain't give you no infection um, and take off any bacteria that they might have on you, have on them. And it's very essential for you to use this um, to make sure you don't have any bacteria on you so you don't want, nobody want infections. Infections are the worst, okay? So this prevents infections. And actually after surgery, you use this, I think for a while after surgery for one to two weeks to clean um, your incisions and things like that. So, yeah. Seven, seven, <laughs> seven, 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 seven. I think these are really essential. These are ad abdominal pads, but actually your doctor is going to send you probably home with some of these. Um, I think these are great to use underneath here because with this bra, it kind of rubs at the bottom, especially this gray one. And it was very smart to have this underneath to, um, to just make it more comfortable for your incisions. So it doesn't rub or irritate your incisions at all. These pads, um, you keep like right here underneath uh, the crease of your breast so that it... What the fuck, nigga? This is production. We don't right. sit. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> so abdominal pads or any kind of cushion um, pads that you might want to have underneath 
um, the bottom of your breast to make sure that you don't irritate your incision. Number nine, essential item. So if you could be here around nine, that would be great. Well, seems like I can't count. <laughs> I think I lost count on number five when I had the two bras, so sorry, bae. A dry brush. A dry brush. Nobody really thinks about dry brushing. This is the most... Ooh, this feels so good on your skin. And when you got an itch, this mother sucker right here is going to make you feel so much better. I'm telling you, this is essential to have, a dry brush, because as you are healing, you can't use it until after you have healed, but as you are healing, your skin is going to start to itch from the incisions closing, from everything starting to settle, from all the things that were shifted during your surgery, um, are cut during your surgery, starting to mend itself back together. Your skin go itch. That means that your nerves are attaching, and that means that things are starting to um, repair itself. So the itching is essential to have, but it don't feel good. So use a dry brush. A dry brush is a. If you don't listen to nothing else, I say a dry brush is essential to have because when I tell you, you gonna be scratching, itching. Oh my God! Essential to have after surgery. So get you a dry brush. That's my number nine. And number ten, number ten, essential item to have. A tan, a tan, a fucking tan. Gentlemen, for surgery, Moderma. Now I ain't been using this like I should, but this is Moderma PM. It's an intensive overnight scar cream, and this sucker it feels really good. It's a great feeling cream. It's not sticky. Um, but this is to help um, reduce the look of scars, especially on darker skin tones. Um, this helps to reduce the look of scars, um, helps with the pigmentation of the scars to lighten them, and um, to flatten your scar. You're supposed to use this every night, I think for six weeks after your, your incisions have closed, you start using this, and it's supposed to lighten and less your scar. So this is essential to have. This is essential to have. Top 10 um, thing to have in your uh, surgery pack is Moderma cream. So yeah, that's my tips and tricks, or not tricks, but this is my tips for the 10 things that you need to have. Essential items you need to have for breast reduction, breastless surgery. Make sure you guys grab these items. You can find most of it at your drugstore, at Target, at Walmart, or at Amazon. So, check these things out. Uh, comment down below and let me know if I missed anything or if you have gotten any of these items. Um, you can, Like I said, you can find it at your drugstore. You can find it on Amazon for sure. Um, let me know if you try any of these items out. I would love to talk to you and communicate. Um, in the comment section below or you can hit my DMs on Instagram at extra goo up um, if you want to talk to me and connect more I love you guys so much make sure you subscribe to my channel we got videos coming all December long um, for vlogmas so make sure you tap in and I'll see y'all in the next video I love you guys and that is a mother